This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. The Lansing Catholic Cougars are in the first football state championship game in six years, and their opponent is in that game for the first time in the school history, but not without a controversial semifinal game that ended earlier than it should have. The Almont Raiders beat Detroit's Denby 36-8 last weekend, but their milestone victory was overshadowed by an altercation with their opponent. The officials, after a series of penalties, decided that it was time to call the game. So it was called with five minutes left, said Jeff Kimmerly of the MHSAA. After that, a fight broke out between the two teams. Almont Superintendent Bill Kalmar saying that his staff mishandled the situation. The people that we would have expected to de-escalate the situation were instead taunting the student athletes from, Dan, from Denby, Kalmar said. Thankfully, it's rare to have something like this happen at this level, said Kimberly. We know some disturbing things took place and we don't want to say who did what or try to pin anything on anyone at this point. Online home goods retailer Wayfair is opening a customer service center in Meridian Township, creating more than 500 new jobs over the next three years. The project, announced on Tuesday, said that it has been in the works for a year. The Lansing Economic Area Partnership, Michigan State University, and other organizations helped to make it happen. Wayfair's new facility will occupy commercial space on Hagedorn Road and open as soon as next summer. It will be the company's first service center in the Midwest, supporting operations in the U.S. and Canada. McLaren Greater Lansing is adding new safety measures so you don't have to worry while visiting your loved ones in the hospital. More security staff are being added during certain times and all visitors will be required to check in and receive a badge. Patients' dietary restrictions will also be addressed with new placemats being used throughout the hospital that represent food allergies. McLaren says that the new measures are all about improving the quality of care. We always want our patients and staff to be safe, so everything we can do to make them feel better about their jobs is a plus for everybody. So I'm very pleased that we are able to do this and that staff will see some differences that will make them more secure, said John Patterson, Vice President for Support Services. The phrase, call, don't fall, will also be displayed above patients' beds to remind them to call for assistance rather than attempting to get out of their bed on their own. Thanksgiving is a time when many people give back, including volunteering to prepare holiday meals. It's also a time when people are handling food in unfamiliar settings, which could spread foodborne illness. If you're going to prepare food, make sure that you start with washing your hands before preparing food and after handling any raw meat or poultry. Also, make sure that you plan for appliances that are new to you. If you're unfamiliar with working with these in the kitchen, remember cooking times could be slightly different with different ovens, so use a food thermometer. Also be aware of time and temperature. For hot foods, keep them at 140 degrees Fahrenheit or above. For refrigerated foods or foods that are served cold, keep them at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or below. Never let foods sit between 40 and 140 degrees for more than two hours. Learn more about all of these and all MidMichigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.